Hey guys, this is a video on the Acra Bazi method. So this is a uh, method proposed in 1986 by uh, uh, Acra and Bazi. And it's basically the new massa theorem to analyze the asymptotic behavior of mathematical recurrences that appear in the analysis of the divide and conquer algorithms. So it is the generalization of the well-known massa theorem. And here it is, it's a lot. So given a recurrence in this form, where t of n equals f of n, uh, which equals theta of one, which is some constant, for all n between one and that constant, uh, and for f of n equal to g of n, plus the summation from i equals one to k of a subscript i times t of b subscript i times n for all n greater than some constant. And then it has a few more conditions. n must be greater than or equal to one, and n is a real number. c is a constant such that c is greater than or equal to one over b subscript i, so that's for all of the, the b's um, in the summation, and c is greater than or equal to one over one minus b subscript i for all i greater than or equal to one and all i less than or equal to k. So that's all of the i's in the summation. Three, a subscript i must be greater than zero. So here our a subscript i must be greater than zero. Our b subscript i must be less than or equal to one and our b subscript i must be greater than zero. So uh, b subscript i is gonna be some value between zero and one and our k is greater than or equal to one. It's a constant, of course, because our summation is gonna go up to some uh, constant k. And our function g of n is a non-negative function uh, satisfying the polynomial growth condition p. And the condition is from summation i equals one to k, a subscript i times b subscript i to the power of p must equal one. So this is actually a lot. Um, so basically we have to remember that our recurrence must be in this form here. I'm going to uh, highlight this a little bit. Oops, I went over the I. So we, if we given a recurrence basically in this form here and given these conditions, we can now use their uh, use their method. So I'm going to go ahead and erase this here. That's their conditions. And now what we're going to do is we're going to write down the actual uh, method that they can use to solve this recurrence. So if all that's true, then our T of N I put equal to, we really need to put belong to, belongs to theta of n to the p times one plus the integral from one to n. And then we're going to say uh, g of u and then over u to the power of p plus one du in parentheses in parentheses so let's give an example all right so i'm gonna see here so an example would be let's say we want to solve the recurrence t of n is going to be equal to uh, one fourth times t of n divided by four plus uh, three fourths times t of three n divided by four uh, plus one.
So you may say, whoa, this doesn't look anything like this, right? But what we see here is we see our A1, subscript 1, is 1 fourth. Our B subscript 1 is um, 1 divided by 4 as well. And then our A subscript 2 is equal to 3 fourths. And wow, uh, I didn't do a good job of uh, choosing a better um, example, but our B subscript 2 also equals 3 fourths. That's our 3 fourths times n. So although they, the numbers look the same, these are different values. I'm getting this B subscript run, one from here, and I'm getting the A from here, and I'm getting this 3 fourths A from here, and this 3 fourths from here. Okay, and now our uh, g of n is equal to 1. Okay, so um, in this equation here, we don't have any values of n except for here. And it's a different n. It's not the same one. So we want to make this a function of u. And so we could just simply change this to g of u. So this is our g of u, which equals 1. Now, um, we make sure that all of our conditions are correct, and uh, they are. Our b of 1 is between 0 and 1. Our b of 2 is between 0 and 1. Our a1 is greater than 0, and our a2 is greater than 0. So now we need to check our other condition. Just going to do a little bit of racing there. Which our other condition says... Um, if I remember this correctly, summation from i equals 1 to k of a subscript i times b i to the p has to equal 1. So, let's check this. So, we have 1 fourth times 1 fourth to the p plus 3 fourths times 3 fourths to the p and it looks like our p value is going to be 1 so so if we set p equal to 1 this should equal to 1 so uh, p equals 1 so now we get one here and one here and so we get uh, to do let's see one sixteenth plus nine sixteenths make sure I'm doing this right that's ten sixteenths uh, nope and let me check again here so, hmm. so maybe not one. Let's try another one. So P does not equal one. Uh, let's try zero. So now what we get is one fourth plus three fourths. Ah, there we go equals four fourths. Oops, so our p equals zero. All right. All right so I'm gonna go ahead and erase some of this here. So now we know our p equals zero. So what we have is our t of n belongs to theta of n to the p. Our p was zero and not one times one plus integral from one to n our g of u was one so we have one over u to the one because um our p 
equal zero. Du. So let's simplify this a little bit. Now we just get theta of zero one. We get theta of one into the power of zero is one times one plus the natural log from one to n one over u du okay and now I'm gonna write this whole thing again so now we get t of n belongs to theta of I said one plus one over n one u du Okay, so this is theta of one plus log n, and that is theta of log n. And so that should be the answer. Um, thank you guys. I hope this video wasn't too confusing. I hope it actually shed some light on the Acrobazi method. And this is actually a, a better method to use than the master theorem because it's more generalized. So the master theorem can't do uh, recurrences such recurrences like t of n equal t of n divided by two plus t of n divided by three uh, plus t of n divided by eight. It can't you can't solve recurrences using a master theorem if they're like that, but you can do that using the Accra Bazi method. So thank you guys. Um, please subscribe, leave comments, questions, uh, answer them the best I can. And I'll see you all in the next video.